All right, we're down by Flagler Beach, meeting a friend this morning to fish. This is my second tournament. So, first tournament I've ever fished, I did not catch one single fish at all, not even a dinky whiting. So, <laughs> I have much higher hopes for today. I can only go up from there. So, uh, we'll see you out on the beach. So, this is what we got here. And uh, my cart is up here. I'm gonna go bring it down. This is a day in the life of Kathy Sanders when I'm fishing. And this cart is really weighed down today, so it is heavy. I got that locked. All right. Whoa. It's heavy today. Oh gosh. Um, if it's too heavy, I can take the cooler out. What do you think? I think you can grab um, it. Um, with the two of us, we could probably get it. Whoa. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Looks fishy. I mean, there's nobody fishing down there, and there usually is a bunch of people. That's why I don't go down that way. Let's see where there might be a cut. Um, yeah, we'll go down this way a bit. Okay, I literally just threw this out and I'm already getting a bite. I don't know what it is, but like something hit it like literally as soon as it hit the water. And I was like, that can't be a fish already. And it was. What in the world? It's like. Well, it's not the fish we wanted, but it's a bait. Okay, and these dudes do have really sharp, you can see there's some spikes here. You gotta be careful of these spot. Uh, actually, this is a little croaker. It's not a spot fish. And uh, I'm gonna put them right close to the microphone so you can hear the noise he's making. So this one got hit just after I put it in. This one has the braid. This is a Pen Pursuit 4. And, uh, I actually got these rods at Walmart. You get them for about a hundred bucks. I heard it, got it from Bama Beach Bum. And we got a catfish. So that one's hardhead. We're gonna throw that dude back. Seriously, the second, the second I throw this thing out, I think there's a bunch of little croakers and catfish out there though. This one's tugging a little bit more. Uh, another little croaker. We got more bait. So I've got something on there, but I'm just afraid that it's another croaker or another catfish. So I'm gonna leave that for a bit because <laughs> I have not even been able to get more than one line in the water. I mean, if it's a decent lighting, that's fine. I can use that for the tournament. Oh, now I got doubles. That's what happens when you leave it out there. Double spot fish, is it? Nope, double croakers. Emma's got something out here. It's like a croaker spot. No, yeah. it's spot fish. Yep, it's 
Sweet. Okay, I got that out farther. That's what happened. That's what happened with mine. I know something was on there, but uh, and it feels like something's tugging already. Yeah, something's tugging already. I can't even <laughs> hardly get it out. And it's a catfish. Ah. I have a um, fish bites, dirty boxer that I'm gonna try throwing. It's, it's not super, super calm, but it's not too bad out. So I'm gonna check for flounder, see if I can get on something, sea trout, something that's tournament worthy. So far I've been catching spot fish, croaker, uh, I think Emma's been catching the whiting. I may have, no, I didn't catch a whiting. Lots of croakers <laughs> and catfish. So I need something for the tournament. I'm gonna try over here with the uh, fish bites and see what happens. So I'm going to turn this here because I've got something on this pole and I've been ignoring it. Okay, so this is the one with the shrimp. Most likely this is spotfish, croaker, whiting, or catfish. This is what we've been doing lately. And another catfish. Oh my lord. Another hardhead catfish. It's going to give you a kiss. And he's going back. I'm just going to throw this in with these fish bites only. No shrimp. Let's see how far I can get this to go out. This is 30 pound line. 30 pound mono. I didn't even see it. This battery's running low, but before I change it out, I'm gonna check this line. It's got cut bait on it, and it's acting funny. Well, it's because it's a little shark. That is also not a tournament fish, but I believe that's a sharp nose. It's a shark. Yeah. Uh, might be a little sharp nose, but uh, here we are. Got this little shark. We're going to get him off here. I'm putting the vest back on because I noticed when I put it on the tripod, it's easy to just walk away and it's just recording and recording and dragging the battery down. So I'm going to keep it on me. That way I can turn it on and off when I need to. And we're going to go check some of these poles. I'm going to turn it around here. Um, Emma needed to go use the restroom. I think she's got something there. Um, I have shrimp here. Or no, just uh, fish bites and beads. That one I put a float rig, but it's so light it's probably already washed ashore. And the one on the end has a pretty big piece of cut bait on it. So uh, we're going to see what goes on with all that. Okay, this is jumping again, so, oh, there it goes. I don't know if you saw that. Oh! Don't wanna lose it this time. This time when it gets close, I'm, I'm just gonna back up. Got off the water line again. What in the world? I'm throwing it right back out. All right, so I just caught this scalloped hammerhead. This is a new species for me. So that's really cool. He was on there a while because I just thought it was like a little croaker or something. I had no idea it was this guy. Check him out, look at his color. 
That's very, very cool. Yeah, I know. He's got like an iridescence to him. So, not very big. Scalped hammerhead. Hey, dude, you're really cool. Thanks. Making this a fun day. All right, so normally I release these guys just real gently, but I'm going to kind of throw him out a little bit of ways for me because I really don't want him to come back and bite me. Here he goes. Ah, it looks like he's coming back this way. No, I, did, I let you go, dude. Be free. Be free. He's still... Oh, man. I hope he makes it. Flipping over. Oh, come on. I don't want to try to help him because he may turn around and bite me. I'll get some water. Oh, come on, guy. I may have to help him here. Let's put him in the toss him out into deeper water here. Alright, I'm gonna help you, dude. There you go. Hopefully that's better. Okay, he's he's heading out now. Not in. All right. Well, that was exciting. It's been a bit. I'm seeing a little movement on here, but nothing to convince me that there's a fish really on here. But it's time to do a bait check anyway. Another spot fish. Now we have a ton of croaker already, so I'm gonna just let this dude go. I know, I hear you making all kind of noise. It's not your day to die. Be careful of his gills. His gill plates are sharp. Hey, let go. He did not want to let go of that fish bite. Cute little croaker. I got, <laughs> let me guess, double croakers. Oh, they're tiny. Let's see, we're gonna try to double hand this thing. Take out both of these, got them. Got some twinsies, two little croakers. They're going back. And this has been all morning. Okay, I appreciate catching you guys. It's been fun, but I'm in a tournament, so y'all aren't going to do a thing for me for the tournament, sorry to say. So, they're going back. Unfortunately, what happened now was that the audio cut out from the camera. I did not realize that you have to charge not only the camera and the batteries, but you have to charge the uh, microphone and the receiver for the microphone and so both of those died in the middle of this tournament and fishing trip and so the rest of the recording doesn't have audio so i'm going to do a narration as we move forward i've cut out more of uh just stuff that wouldn't be interesting but i caught some fish a bunch of fish during this time and i also caught the winning fish while the audio was cut out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and narrate the rest of the time. So here, I'm just reeling in here. I had moved to Marineland Beach, I believe. Or no, this is probably still at Flagler. Yeah, this is still at Flagler. And I got both of these, just like every other time. I had doubles so many times and threw them back. Now here is where I moved. You can see the rocks in the background. I'm at Marineland Beach, so I cut out setting up there. I cut out a bunch of other stuff, and uh, lo and behold, I had gotten a pompano. Wasn't big enough to keep, but look at the color on that. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice yellow coloring, and uh, cut a whiting. I think that was a whiting. We'll see it in a minute. I was so excited about this pompano. <laughs> 
So I, I knew he was undersized, but I just wanted to see how big he was. And I think it was nine and a half, if I remember right, nine and a half inches. So he went back. But um, I just thought this was funny because I, I wanted to get a picture with him. And he, so I grabbed my phone here and he's just flipping around. He flips off of the <laughs> thing right there. So I'm like, dude, you just ruined your photo shoot. So I grab him. And he's totally sandy. And half the time I end up having to take pictures with these. <laughs> He's just flopping everywhere. So, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, keep that in there because it's funny. And he goes back. But pretty little pompano. There's so much fun to catch if you haven't caught in pompano yet. Uh, you're definitely missing something because they're really fun. I love how they cut through the water back and forth and fight. Even the little ones fight pretty good. So you can see after I let him go here, you can see him swimming off, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm checking this pole. This is the, um, this is the uh, fish bites pole. And I'm gonna reel it in really quick. Wow, look how fast I am. And I'm trying to see what that is. Yeah, a little whiting. Not too bad of a fish there. I think I, I think I brought him home to fillet. All right, and all day, all day it was like this. I was either getting doubles or just getting hit right away. Wow, man, I am so fast. Look at that, doubles again. So here we go. I'm trying to see, this is, no, this is not the winning doubles. if we can see them in the picture again. Oh, there they are. Oh yeah, two croakers, yeah. It's It's been a bit since I did the um, tournament, so it's hard to remember exactly uh, the order of when I caught all these fish, but yeah. Some more twins, two croakers, and they're going back. There they go. All right, now I'm reeling again real quick. Got another, I think it's a whiting. Let's see if we can get a better look at him here. And here's some more again. These doubles, I believe these are the ones, one of these fish, I think it's the bottom one, is the one that won fifth place in the tournament. Believe it or not, <laughs> this is how bad the fishing was that day. I mean, look at the size of those whiting. They can't be... Oh no, this is a whiting and a catfish. Yeah, so that was not the winning one. I'm telling you, it was all day, just back to back, reeling it in, throwing it out, reeling it in, which I didn't mind at all. It was so much fun. I honestly had not had a day like that where I caught so many fish. So let's see what we got here. This might be the winning ones. Because I know I just I kept getting doubles and doubles and doubles after I moved to Marineland Beach, so it was a, it was a fun beach to fish. Probably head back there sometime soon. But yeah, I think this is the doubles that has the winning fish. I caught two whiting, kind of right at the end here, and these. Uh, one was a gulf whiting, the other one is a southern kingfish, well, gulf kingfish, southern kingfish. Um, we'll see the uh, the difference in their coloration here in a minute. Oh yeah, because these ladies were walking up and uh, started talking to me and I was telling them about Fishing Girl, which I'm so excited to be able to do now because for so long I, I had to like keep quiet about it. So yeah, those were the winning fish. Uh, one of those other ones, here's another one that I brought in just before, I, I would think I was packing up to leave. So we're gonna end out with some music through the rest of this video, but I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you can, push that like, push that subscribe, and we'll see you next time, fishing girl.